Here we are on Geometer Sketchpad. We've got ourselves a right triangle, and we're going to discover the three trig ratios based on this right triangle. So about this right triangle, notice we got angle B is a right angle here. Angle A is highlighted with a, a sector, and across from angle A, we call that the opposite side. Uh, the one, the side that touches this angle that's not the hypotenuse is the adjacent side, and of course hypotenuse across from the right angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure some ratios in this triangle. First one is going to be the opposite compared to the hypotenuse measure ratio. Just move this over here. And now the adjacent and the hypotenuse. And then finally opposite and adjacent. Okay, these are the three main trig ratios. To see which ones they are, we're going to measure the sine, the cosine, and tangent of this angle measurement. Anytime you do sine, cosine, and tangent, it's always of the angle measurement, one of these acute angle measurements. In this case, it's angle A. So I'm going to come up here, pull up the calculator. I'm going to choose the sine of the angle measurement, that's CAB. And I can see that this is the exact same thing as opposite over hypotenuse. Sine ratio is the same thing as opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so do the same thing. Cosine of that angle measurement. See that that is the same thing as the adjacent over the hypotenuse. One last one. You could probably guess which one it's going to be. Tangent of my angle measurement. And it's the same thing as opposite over adjacent. Make these some different colors here. There we go. Okay, so notice about this right triangle. If I, if I move C, it changes the angle. And when I change the angle, all of these ratios change as well, right? Okay, but if I move point A, it's just dilating my shape. It's making it bigger or smaller proportionally, so all of these triangles are similar. And since they are all similar, the ratios stay the same. And this is the basis of right triangle trigonometry, that if I have myself a triangle, let's say its angle measurement is right here about 35.48, no matter how big or how small that triangle is, the sine of that angle measurement will always be 0.58. The cosine will always be 0.81, and the tangent would always be 0.71.